disobedient little minx. Obviously, my information about you was all too accurate. You're a threat to any young girl. Well, this time, young man, you've chosen the wrong family to interfere with. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. What the hell is going on, Mike? Don't you play the innocent with me, Mr. Clark. You probably helped organize this, this immoral little tryst. Well, I've nipped it in the bud. Now, I'm warning you people for the last time. You keep this, this depraved delinquent away from my granddaughter. I'm going straight back to the police. And no matter what they say this time, positive action will be taken. The police? But I haven't done anything. Oh, no. Come along, my girl. No. Now, hold now, on. Yeah, yeah. Now, I want to know exactly what Mike's supposed to have done. Ask him. Me. Disgusting, that's what you are. What have I done? As if you didn't know. I don't. Well, you won't get another chance, because I'll see to that. Come along, Jane. Well, I don't. Hey, hey, fair go. Yeah, you can't go throwing dirt like that and get away without telling us. I don't have to say a word. Yeah, well, you're usually ready to bump your gums about anything. How dare you? Well, why don't we all go to the cops, eh? If you've already been to see them, maybe they'll tell the rest of us what's going on. Ask him what he's got on his conscience. And then you'll see if I haven't got a good reason to keep my granddaughter out of his reach. Come on, Jane. And just ask him about that other poor girl. Go on. What other girl? I don't know. I've only ever gone out with Nikki. And I mean, even then we didn't, you know. No one else? I told you, what is this? Hey, what about the time you went to, um... Manly for that, uh, swimming, wasn't there, um, some story? What story? Mike? It was just a bit of fun. Um, who was she? Cassie Campbell. It was just a fling. Nothing serious. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Uh, if that's all it was, then. So you don't trust me either? Of course we do. And there wasn't anyone else? No. Just Nikki and Cassie, that's all. Now, Jane, it's not fair. We haven't done anything. What girl, Nan? What did you mean? Off to bed. Go on. I want to know. What girl? No questions. Off to bed. I want to know. Count yourself lucky that you didn't end up like her. If I hadn't found out in time... Oh. Found out what? <sighs> Tell me, Nan. I don't know where you get your temper from. Not from my side of the family, that's for certain. And as for sneaking out... I just wanted to talk to Mike. Him? <laughs> well, we won't have to worry about you seeing him again. You can't. It's not fair. Oh, Jane, dear, listen to me. Come on, sit down. Oh, you're so young. You don't know men. It's so easy to get... Well, carried away. One mistake now and... Your whole future, your whole life could be ruined. But we haven't done anything. And you think you could trust him? But why shouldn't I? Oh, you're such a child. Why shouldn't I trust Mike? Just do what I say, dear. Keep away from him. Not if I don't know why. Jane, get to bed. What's he done? Why won't you tell me? I know it's hard, but it's for your own good. I'll take steps if I have to. What steps? Uncontrollable young girls in moral danger sometimes have to be shut away for their own protection. Now, we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Oh, I'm only thinking of you, dear. Well, it seems to be working, then. Well, they are talking, yes. Yeah, I knew it. Edna told him on a good time we had last night, did you? We've hardly talked about anything else since. Clive this, Clive that. You're a darts champion, I hear. Did she say that? Several times. Uh, she made it up. Killed me every game. I bet old Dan was mad. Mm. Nothing like a bit of jealousy to stir up the sparks. See, I told you it'd work. They'll be back together in no time. I'm not so sure about that. Well, you said they were talking again, didn't you? Yes, Clive, but it's what they're talking about. Dad said to Mum that she's obviously having such a good time without him that he'll give her a divorce straight away and she can go her own sweet way. And she agreed? Yes. So it didn't work, Cupid. Don't give up so easily. Oh, Clive. I think divorce is rather final. I'll see you later. Hi. Oh, where's 
everyone else. I went to English early. Mike too? Why? Oh, no reason. I thought you two were hanging around together. Yeah, I just wanted to be by myself for a bit. Know what you mean. People can be a real drag sometimes. Especially guys. They just con you half the time. Pretend they never did anything wrong in their lives. And then when you find out behind your back. Anything like that ever happened to you? No. Why? No reason. You know what really gets me? It's people who think they can run your life just because they're older than you. Oh yeah, like what? I suppose she can't help being so straight. Who? Your grandmother? What's she been saying? Nothing. Making things rough for you, is she? She's banned me from seeing Mike ever. I'm not even supposed to talk to her. Well, how come? She's got some crazy idea, right? Acts as if Mike's a vampire or something. What for? What's that? She's doing everything she can to split us up. Right now she's in the headmaster's office telling him we should be kept apart. I don't know how. We sit next to each other in class every day. Well, they could always move him. And they can't stop us from seeing each other in the yard. You never know. I mean, Mother would. What? Well, if it's bad enough, give him the flick. Yeah, he hasn't done anything. He could have. And your grandmother might have some kind of proof. Poor Mike. Coming into class? Hey? Val, is he coming in? No. No, I've got to do something. Oh, it's just probably just mum. You know what she's like, Raider. Yeah. Figures. It's just having this beautiful daydream. It's lovely. You and me on a deserted beach. Sorry? Yeah, no, uh, speaking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, OK, I'll, I'll be right up there. Mm. Bye. Who was it? Mike's headmaster. Guess who's been in his office complaining about Mike and trying to keep him away from her precious granddaughter? Oh, no, I'm going up there straight away. No, 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 no. We don't want to fight. I'll do it. Well, you only made it worse last time you fronted Mrs. Mangle. I won't let her go on top of me. Well, can you phone the bank and tell them I'll be late? Hmm. Jean, what do you think you're doing? You're supposed to be in school. What did you say to him? I beg your pardon? The headmaster, what did you tell him? You're going to be very late for class. Did you get Mike expelled? That's up to the headmaster. My dear, I know you don't like it, but it is for the best. You've got him into trouble for nothing. Nonsense. It's not fair. Mike hasn't done anything, and neither have I. You can't make me give him up. He's the only one who really cares about me. Jane, listen to me. I'm sorry, but try and understand. It's because I do care that I can't let you ruin yourself. What they say is true. A good name is worth more than gold. Well, who needs a good name if they just end up like you? I hate you, Nan. Thought you'd never open up. Oh, morning. A double rum, thanks, Dahl. Had a beer to chase it. I know oh. it's early, but I'm celebrating. Oh. As of today, I'm a free man. Really? Yep. Served my sentence, and now the judge says I can go. How long? Twelve years. Must have been serious. Sure was. Bad mistake. And I paid for it. What did you do? I got married. Now, that got you in, didn't it? <laughs> Thought you had a real cream in the place. And all you've got is good old Ray Murphy celebrating his divorce. <laughs> oh, thanks, darling. The name is Mrs. Mitchell. Oh, we are. <laughs> you keep your hands to yourself, you octopus. Oh, I'm steady on. I'm... How dare you? Yeah. You all right, Matt? Yes, yes, thank you, Clive. What's going on? Uh, nothing, mate. He pinched me on the... Oh, look, I was just being friendly. That's now, I'd all. call that too friendly. It's all right, Clive. She reminded me of Faye, the ex-Mrs. Murphy. Big and beautiful. Just how I like it. Cheers. And may all your troubles be little ones. 
What did Mr. Muir say? I got a suspension on it. No. Good. What did he say about Mrs. Mangle? Oh, he asked me if I knew what she was going on about. So she didn't explain it to him either? Oh, she made some vague accusations. He didn't seem too convinced. I told her she was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks for coming along. I knew you'd talk him around. Yeah, I was just about to leave for work when he phoned. Daff wanted to come too, but she had to open the coffee shop. Look, um, it's still okay if I go and see James. But... Well, maybe it'd be better if you both cool it for a while. Why? Oh, you know. No, I don't, actually. Your headmaster thinks you ought to. Yeah, but you don't, though, do you? Just for a while, but it all blows over. Des, we're in the same class as each other. We live in the same street as each other. How are we supposed to stop seeing each other? We're blindfolded. Yeah, look, I, I know it's hard, believe me. You're as bad as the rest of them. Oh, come on. Well, you believe Mrs. Mangle, don't you? No. But you know what she's like. Now, why make it worse? Thanks, Des. You're a great help. Mrs. Mangle, can I get you something? I haven't come here to drink. Oh, most people do. Most people are no better than they ought to be. Now, Madge me, darling. Come on. Oh, don't mind me. I've come here to see Clive Gibbons. Clive, you're wanted. Ah, uh, Mrs. Mangle, what can I do for you? I, uh, I'd like a word with you. Pardon? A word in private. Now, we're all friends here, darling. You want to go? No, thank you. Oh. <laughs> As my doctor, I need That's to... a doctor? What, him? Yes. He saved my life. He's a wonderful oh, doctor. You're kidding. A doctor? <laughs> She's got the scars to prove it. Oh, you don't say. It's your shot, mm -hmm. right? Oh. oh. The local down the surgery is very good. Why oh. don't you just... Oh, no, on? no, I couldn't. I want to see you. And plenty of examination tables, darling. Now, come on up oh, to you. Oh, really? Oh. Uh, of Mrs. Mangle, the waterhole isn't a consultation room. <laughs> I wouldn't bother you, but it's urgent. A family matter. Let's go outside. Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, what's this? The tide's gone out. I didn't think you'd notice. Never miss a trick, down. <laughs> oh, I thought everyone knew by now. Oh, the kids. I had an idea I might be able to keep it quiet. Did I hear you went to the police? I had to do something. Yeah. It's Jane, you see. I'm responsible for her. Well, what about her parents? Oh, Dan. Fond as I am of Amanda, I'm afraid I'd never call her responsible. And her father's no better. No, it's up to me to protect Jane. From what? Growing up, leading a normal life? I'm not against her having friends. You won't find a nicer guy than Mike. Oh, you really think so? What have you got against him? I... I can't say. Do well, you think that's fair? Not giving him a chance to defend himself? I can't. Why not? It's very difficult. A, a misunderstanding some time ago. The police cautioned me. All a mistake, of course. I wouldn't deliberately slander anyone. But, well, there was talk of a charge of malicious gossip. And they warned me I wouldn't get a second chance. So you see... Yeah, I think I see. So you don't have any proof about Mike, whatever he's meant to have done? Oh, yes. You do? I couldn't have made a thing like that up. My goodness, when I read that letter... What letter? Someone slipped it under the door. Anonymous, of course. Yes. Can I see it? No. If it's uh, got about and then was traced back to me... Mrs. I... Mangle, I know you'd never slander anyone deliberately. It'll be all right. Oh. I knew I could trust you, Doctor. I had to talk to someone. Poor Jane, she doesn't understand. She turned against me. And all I'm trying to do is protect her. Oh, terrible, isn't it? Oh, that boy, he's got a lot to answer for. Sick. Poor old Mike. Uh, that is typical of her. Some twisted pervert writes a name she takes as being gospel. Mrs. Mangle always falls for a good story. Oh, she's warped. You wait till you've got a teenage daughter. I bet you overreact too. No fear, not us. Where is this note? Well, can we see it? Oh, she gave it to me in the strictest confidence. Oh, you've got to be joking. If that note concerns Mike, we've got a right to see it. Yeah, well, I guess so. 
Yeah. Okay, Mike. What are you doing out of school? I got sick of people asking me questions. Jane and I have got study periods this afternoon. The whole school knows. I suppose everybody does by now. Yeah, well, don't worry. We'll have it sorted out in no time. Now that we know. Know what? Um, Mike, suppose some girl accused you of, um, treating her badly. Treating her badly. I mean, you'd, you'd think it was a con, wouldn't you? What girl? What are you talking about? As far as you know, there's nothing in it, right? Look, someone wrote this note to Mrs. Mangle and she took it for real, that's all. What note? What does it say? Rubbish. You wouldn't want to know. Yes, I do. What? You didn't believe any of this, did you? No, of course not. We just wanted to hear it coming from you, yeah. It's just lies. I've never done anything like this. I'll get your coffee. Here, yeah, you better take your lunch. You've got work to catch up on. Yeah, yeah, I'd better get going too. I'm gonna keep that. I suppose that's fair. We'll have it sorted out in no time, eh? Yeah. Don't worry, sport. Thanks, Dad. See ya. See ya. Who'd write something like this about me? Some pretty sick people around, Mike. An empty glass, need a transfusion. Oh, Clive, what are we going to do? Look at him. Yeah, he's plastered all right. Look, I'll hey. handle this. Hey, a man can die first around here. Yeah. Well, this should help you, right? Now, uh, what is it? There we go with that. All righty. <coughs> it's so in order. Yep, time to ease up on the uh, drinking, mate. No fear. Oh, what another rum. I'm celebrating. Look. Now, why don't you all have one with me, eh? I'll shout everybody. Oh, oh. Sorry, darling. I lost my balance. Oh, you're a drunk. A drunk? Me? Oh, a bloke you can rely on. That's me. You ask anyone. I built my business up from nothing. I'm a self-made man. Yes, but you did a rotten job of it. A drunk. Hey, you see this? Money. And money talks. Well, goodbye money. Come on, Ray. No, 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 no. You see what I got here? Look at that. There. there it is. That's my factory. That's my house. All mine. And no mortgage. Come on, Ray. Come on. Oh, you see this? <laughs> Mercedes Benz. Mine. And it's right outside. Oh, that's something yep. you won't be needing for the rest of the afternoon. I'll call you a cab. <laughs> what are you doing? You're not getting those back until you're fit to drive. I'm not going to be responsible for you going out there and killing someone. Oh, come on, darling. Now, don't start playing silly games. Just till you're in better shape. Mr. Right? Murphy, you would hate yourself if you hurt anyone. You know you would. And how would I feel? I can't let you do it. Now, listen to me. You can't treat a bloke like that. I know your boss, Paul Robinson, and I'll have him sort you two right out. You did the right thing, Matt. You probably saved a life. Probably lost us our jobs, too. Oh, Jane, dear, you haven't touched your lunch. I'm not hungry. Oh, well, you might be when you finished your homework. That's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to work out how soon I'll save enough money to get out of here. On your pocket money, it could take a while. Oh, Jane, if you keep up this attitude, I'll have to send you away to your other grandmother in the country, away from all bad influences. Oh, dear. It's probably only someone collecting. Just to be on the safe side, young lady. Can I come in? You most certainly cannot. Please, ma'am. After what he's done? You mean after what's been written in here? Where did you get that? Clive thought I had a right to see it. He had no right to betray my confidence. What about me? I'm the one who's being slandered. You're not coming in. Do you want everyone in the street to know the lies you've been spreading about me? Hurry up, then. Say a piece, then go. What is that, Mike? Read it. Oh, Jane, don't. You'll only get upset. How dare you let her read a thing like that? Well, she ought to know what you think about me. Oh, how could Dr. Gibbons do that? Oh, I trusted him, and now look. And then you didn't believe any of this, did you? Well, what was I to... It's a joke. That's what I think. The police didn't. Well, Mike wouldn't do anything like this. 
Would you? Of course not. See? And you take his word for it, just like that. What do you know? Ask him about the girl in Manly. It's not true. What girl? Oh, don't think you're the first. Oh, no. Stories like that get around. They can't be kept quiet. Don't listen to her, Jane. You're an intelligent girl, Jane. Don't let yourself be taken in. Well, trust him. Trust? Oh, it's a fool's paradise. Ask him about the girl in Manly. Jane, listen to me. What girl in Manly? I was just a fling, nothing else. Oh, yes. And poor Nikki Nelson knew nothing about it. It was nothing like that. All I'm trying to make you see is that you can't take anyone on trust. Believe me, where the smoke. Oh, I just got my room. Jane, wait. Now let me go. Jane! Neighbors. Everybody needs good neighbors. Just a friendly wave each morning helps to make a better day. 